Um, Glenn sa says, I agree with Jack's critique of the total bond index tracking. How likely is it to change? And if not, what funds should we add to our portfolio to get better corporate exposure? Well, good question. And I want to emphasize that I may be a little bit of a purist on this. It, the differences are not large between us. You know, I'd, I'd say the index properly weighted. We have things like 25% of all uh, treasuries are held by China and Japan, a little bit from UK, I think. And uh, so why are they counted when the idea is how are you going to perform relative to your neighbors? Let's call it US pension and retirement plans and uh, US investors generally. They just aren't part of that equation. And people can disagree with that, fine, but that's my position. And then they have a lot of shorter term treasuries that I think are much more accurately kind of in the short bill or very medium, you know, less than short term uh, government bonds. And they're in the index. Why would, why would anybody want to be that short? That said, uh, the differences are not huge. That doesn't mean you shouldn't be striving for perfection, even though you know, you know, you know you'll never get there. But the option is. I think, and I actually did this when the spreads got so wide, it was a very rare move for me to make. I moved a fair amount of my money out of total bond market into corporate intermediate term uh, index. And uh, so, and that's done fine. I mean, the, 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 all those gaps of 2008 have been pretty much ironed out. I'm not sure it matters that much anymore, but I just leave it in there. So uh, there is an option of corporate intermediates. And I'm trying to think here, and I'm probably slipping a little bit. It could be a fund run by Welling and Active, but it's an index fund. It's going to have a correlation of 98 or 99 with the index, whether we call it Active Manager or not. And that's I want to double underscore. When you talk about ETFs starting to have more and more active management, every single one except, I think, one so far is a bond fund. An active management a bond fund is day and night different from active management of stock. Fund. Bond fund, the tolerances are like this between active and index. In an equity fund, the tolerances are more like this between the high and low around that. So uh, that's what you can do if you want to do it. Uh, although I think, you know, I think we need to, to lend, a, lend a hand to the investor who probably many of you in this room are dying for more income. And yet, my philosophy is, you know, if you're, if you're in the bond market, don't reach for more yield than the bond market is prepared to, to provide you with. It's like, to use a very trite example, uh, like falling out on a limb. And you crawl out further and further, and you're fine. And then all of a sudden, one step too far, snap. <laughs> a vigorous metaphor. And uh, so, it's, you know, do it a little bit if you want to. Uh, I don't. Um, that's not, not a significant exception, in my opinion, that I, that I have done. Uh, but you know, basically, the market returns a certain amount, and uh, you, you just have to accept that. Uh, don't reach for more. It's a little bit like somebody that was out in an LGI news. Someone has lost the first seven of the eight races on the card. I think there are eight races on the card, and one of the race tracks. And I'm like taking every penny you have, betting it on the long shot in the eighth race. Well, you may recoup. <laughs> the odds do not favor you. So try, try and stay within the simplicity, uh, low cost index, bond stock, and the like.